Hey everybody, welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. We're coming off the first victory, finally, after hours and years, decades even, of trying to defeat this dastardly game. We've overcome the impossible, and now it's time to just enjoy the spoils of war, namely the, uh, the, uh, oh my god, we got a nice little pixelated check mark there to symbolize our victory. That is awesome. We've got a few uh, more wagons. I think I thought I had unlocked at least one. I think the fancy might be what I'm thinking of. So let's go ahead and rock with the fancy this time around. The fancy western style. We'll begin Bear's seventh super amazing wagon adventure. Seeing some animals and blah 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 blah. Time to hunt. What is the weapon aboard the fancy, I wonder? Let's find out. It appears to be pretty standard. Nothing special here. Taking out all the animals with a jet plane is definitely advisable, even though that does like very little to help us out. Yeah, this looks like it's pretty much the same gun, if not for a slightly faster rate of fire, maybe. A posse of bandits always... Bandits always be interrupting my hunt. That would be my, uh, that would be my Instagram post, followed by a picture of me in my bathroom with the toilet seat up. Pretty much all I know about Instagram these days. We are not getting very many skins from this. I am kind of worried about it. This is the uh, the homing gun. I still have no idea. There was that weird gun that we used in the uh, in the run before this. I think it was in the victorious run. I have no idea what it was, but it was like a non-homing. Oh my god! The battle plows through a large nest of skunks again. We do not want to deal with this, especially because Charles is going to take a whole heap of amount of damage. Oh Jesus Christ! This is really dangerous. All right, I'm going to have to be very deliberate with my uh, with my shots here. Let's see if I can get a few bullets in there. Oh man. Everybody's taking a heaping amount of damage. This is not going well thus far. Yeah, I had that really interesting gun. And I still don't know what it was, but... I suppose that will be the mystery forever left unsolved. Bear noticed the entrance to a cave. He found his natural habitat once more, and it was glorious. It was very dark inside as well. No giant bats! No giant bats! God damn it! Giant freaking bats always messing with my caves! I cannot deal with this stress anymore, man. The giant bats have ruined my home on many, many occasions. Take them out. There we go. Alright, we should probably grab these. Oh, God. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. Bear sprinted back from the cave to the wagon. Oh, I got a filling meal of rabbit stew. Wonderful. Very nice. That makes me happy. So apparently that's just a, a set amount of health spread around our party members. That's okay by me. You know what? I'm going to listen to Charles this time. I'm going to go for the jump. We got a running start and left from the top of a ledge. And they didn't quite make it to low Earth orbit, but they somehow landed safely on the other side. Wonderful! Hey, we did it! Without a care in the world, we made it across. We did as well come across a large herd of buffalo. How many may we kill this fine time? We'll find out. I am kind of confused by the uh, firing rate of this gun on occasion. It Seems as though I should be able to fire an increased frequency, but doesn't work out that way, sadly. Oh, angry buffalo charging the wagon already. Holy shit, they are already displeased with my efforts. Right, I should probably start shooting a bit more preemptively in this particular encounter, because I found myself running into some issues. As I don't try to... Oh my god, wife's about to die. I came across a fur trader, though. She might be... savable. He's got supplies, he's probably got health. Is this worthwhile? I think so. We gotta keep her fighting spirit strong. I'm gonna pick up a shotgun as well, just to give myself a better shot. Uh, better shot! Ha <laughs> ha! Now a better chance of victory. Someone might need their help. Alternatively, they could just ignore the gunshots and continue on. I will investigate. Bandits were robbing a train. Oh, nice! I did just pick up a weapon that should allow me to take care of this a little bit easier, so hopefully we can take advantage. But I should be cautious of the lack of ammunition in general. Alright, there we go. I don't know if I really have to kill these guys. I might just hold off. Because we can probably just skirt through these bullets. If I just sit in the safety sp spots for a little while. There we go. Some bandits on horseback knows the wagon too. So this is what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for the opportunity to kill both the bandit on the horse and the bandits on the uh, train at the same time. So there we go. That's a much more effective way of utilizing this shotgun here. Oh, this will work as well. A machine gun armed bandit wagon ride. God damn it. We don't have to do this again, do we? Oh my god. <laughs> that sucks so hard. Alright, hopefully we can get some kind of benefit out of this. I'd like to uh, solve the mystery of uh, what happens after we successfully deal with the bandit wagon by the train. The conductor gave them 100 animal hides and we got the coal fired. Nice. That is awesome. 
A hundred animal hides, that will certainly help us out. And we're all in pretty good fighting shape here as well. Bear played around with the revolver and accidentally jammed it. Uh, apparently he didn't. At night, Bear decided to look for a flower for wife. He'd grown fond of wife during their travels. Well, I'd certainly hope so. Found it. Bear brought the flower back to camp and gave it to wife. Aw. Is this wife? Oh, I love you too, wife replied. The two went into the wagon to relax. Oh. Good. <laughs> Lots of hearts. Later, Bear needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. Bear and wife, kitten. It was a zombie. It was many zombies. This is the worst thing to possibly happen post-coitus. Oh, God. This is my nightmare. This is my nightmare right here. We, we have a nice romantic evening, and all of a sudden, zombies out of freaking nowhere come and ruin everything. Seems the disease has also spread to the animals. Oh, perfect. Fantastic. Good lord. Oh no, this is... This is adequately horrifying. Am I expected to try to get some, uh... Oh no, health. Health. Must get health. Must get health. Damn it. Okay, that was a, uh... Terrible trade-off, actually. Oh my god, the gun... It keeps jamming. That's the problem. The revolver is jamming over and over again. Oh, finally. Pain on the plane survival mode. Oh, that's all you gotta do to unlock that. Bear couldn't believe what had happened or that he had survived. They fixed the revolver jam, thank Christ. Ooh, man. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. What are our options here? Wife had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go around through the desert path. Sometimes it just forces me to go the way it wants me to. I'm gonna go around this time, though. They made the probably wise decision to take the desert path around the river. They entered into the desert. Terrible things have happened in the desert, but good things have happened as well. They came across a gambling cowboy. Alright. The cowboy bet them all of their animal hides that they couldn't kill 20 quails in 15 seconds. You are on! Absolutely. Charles got ready. Alright. 20 quails, 15 seconds. Check out my disintegration ray, my friend. I, I bet you immediately regret making this bet. Let's find out what we can do here. Oh, God. Shoot faster. Shoot faster. We got it. I think we did it. Nice, 25 out of 20. Hell yeah, we got it. They won the bet and got 114 animal hides. Yes! Very good. They avoided venomous snakes as well. The gambling cowboy. I like that encounter, man. That is a that is a fun one. Especially if we have... Uh, God, if we had the falcon there, falcon bro would have taken care of business. What is this? A boulder shot? Oh my god. What on earth? That's amazing. The hungry vultures made things worse, but with luckily we can shoot rocks from our wagon. They're homing rocks or something. What the hell are these things? They're puffs of smoke. A vulture pecked bear to death. Oh my god. All right, I don't like this one anymore. Let's rock with the missile launcher instead. Holy crap, that was like it was like literally a puff of smoke gun. That was really weird. But I'm okay now. The man-eating scorpions arrived just to make things a little more interesting. It's too damn bad that as soon as Bear and uh, Wife got romantically involved, uh, Bear had to suffer a terrible fate of being pecked to death. Charles gets to capitalize on my vacancy, apparently. It's pretty, uh, pretty messed up, Charles. Waiting until I die to... to jump on her. They noticed some kind of ancient ruin on the side of the trail. Charles decided to investigate. Good. Hope terrible things happen to you in there. It was very dark inside. What have we found filled with undead mummies? I'm tempted to just let you die, Charles, you conniving swine. And it looks like I'm not even gonna have to try. Alright, Charles was killed by a mummy. Well, shit. When Charles did not return to the wagon, wife decided to carry on without him, as she should. Wife got completely turned around and got lost. Oh, god damn it! we're gonna have to go through the desert again. Wife ended up at the start of the desert. Yep. I was gonna make a really misogynistic joke, you know, cue, that's what happens when you give the wife control of the wagon, ha ha ha, but not funny. Rachel offered to join wife's party as a god in exchange for 53 animal hides. Alright, good. She needed all the help she could get, indeed. Traveling alone is not advisable. They avoided venomous snakes once more. I think we're gonna be alright here, though. Oh, I want that gun. I definitely want this gun. The homing beacon, I'm going to try to not fire it as much as possible. This health would have been good earlier. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. The hungry vultures made things worse. Can we do this? Wow, that the homing shot missed. That's kind of startling. I hope that's not a continued thing. 
Bam. Oh, yep, yep, there we go. Alright, need the health now. Gives me three health when I'm at full health. Thank you, game. Oh, I probably shouldn't have grabbed this either. Shit. Gotta bring her on the sh on the wagon and she's already nearly dead. Afraid of running out of water. They traveled faster! Not necessary at all. Zero percent advisable. Shit. Rachel died from complications related to a snake bite! Jesus! And wife was just straight up killed by the snake bite. Wow. Their journey ended there. The vultures picked apart the remains. Well, that didn't go so hot. Let's try again. Let's go for one with Gold Train and uh, see how we can rock it. Rocket on the rocket. Bear wife and Charles. Riding along. Alright, where is the coal fired? Takes a year to arrive. Nice. Maybe it just goes really slow. It's huge. Oh, that's that shot. Wife got whooping cough. Makes sense, given the fact that we're literally firing smoke blasts. Let's see how effective this thing can be, though. I don't know if I can actually hit animals as it goes up. Let's find out. Yep, apparently you can, and you can just disintegrate them completely. Wow. Some pretty rapid firing pace as well. This is pretty good. Did I just destroy the skunk? I did! Wow, that eliminates that threat completely. I think that's, uh... This is another one of those weapons that appears to uh, try to balance out its o penis. Ha! <laughs> o penis. By way of uh, giving you a disease at the beginning of the run, so. I'm okay with that, honestly. This thing is powerful enough to negate that negative aspect, so. This will work just fine. A machine gun armed with bandit wagon arrived. Not a problem. In fact, we can do uh, pretty cheesy tactics here and uh, just take a bunch of damage. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh shit. Oh god, I'm gonna let Bear die. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. Alright, there we go. This is working out just fine. Just keep doing that over and over and over again. Let the smoke puffy balls kill them out. There we are. Recovered from whooping cough. Fantastic. Bear took the brunt of the damage anyway. Wife left the wagon to look for berries. Ha 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 ha. The pun will never cease to be amazing. Found the cave again. Please, no giant bats for the love of God. Please, please, please. It was very dark. It usually is. Guns and ammunition! Hey! Okay, that's better. A whole bunch of missile launcher ammunition. Returned to the wagon with the guns. They sat around the campfire and told embarrassing stories from their childhood. And apparently that allowed us to recover. They reached a river crossing. I, I will not question the validity of that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ford it this time around. We'll go with the uh, option B as opposed to our option A from earlier today. We'll ford the river. Made the probably wise decision to fall the river. Alright, we have a missile launcher. I should probably not waste that. Can I destroy these boulders, I wonder? I'm not going to use my ammunition to find out, but I'm curious enough to ask the question. Oh my god, this is a confusing hitbox on this thing. <laughs> something, something, boulders! Alright, look out for the boulders at the end here. Just make sure we're not going to get hit by something. Good. It does that sometimes. Enter the Great Plains with a whole bunch of missile launcher ammunition. Let's hope for a bunch of buffalo. I'd be down with that. Although, oh wait, just kidding. They they get destroyed when we do this, so maybe that's not the best plan. Yeah, probably not. All right, let's get this health for sure. And uh, I'm gonna switch out for this thing, just to get that done. There we go. And then we can start actually getting some uh, value out of this. They got bored of all the repetitive buffalo encounters, so they sped up. Good, 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 good. Yeah, we're dead. We're screwed. This is not gonna end well. Oh lord. Oh god. Oh, I need Falcon Bro back. I definitely need Falcon Bro back. This is not going well. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'm getting wife Taffy killed. Some angry buffalo charge the wagon. All right, we're prepared for this. We're totally prepared for this. Just continue to fire. Full force. Full frontal blasts. From the smoke cannon. All right, that's this is better. This is a much better way of handling this problem. Oh, god damn it. Bison rammed into wife and pulverized her internal organs. I knew that would happen. Fur Trader, what you got? Supplies in exchange for hides. I could use a little bit of health. But I'll get some ammunition for this gun instead. In fact, we can do both. Hey, there we are. They noticed an injured falcon. Oh, I love the falcon. Go get the falcon. Yes, Charles. Good boy. Let's do this thing. Oh, I should probably use my uh, shotgun sparingly here. Let's see if I can hit multiple targets. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, they're really fast. All right, just fire willy-nilly. Don't worry about conserving ammo, just stay alive. Recovering from its injuries, the Falcon was a useful hunting partner. Yes, indeed. Oh, it's so great. The wonders of Falcon, bro. 
Gotta love it. Gotta freaking love it. There we are. More and more and more. Yes, please. All oh, the buffalo I can endure. Impressed by its abilities, they decided to carry the falcon with them. The wagon axle broke and the wagon was stuck. Well, shit. Yeah, if an axle breaks on the train, I can't imagine we're gonna get that far. Alright, falcon bro at my side. I'm ready to handle this. Coyotes hounded him. That was a great choice of words. Unexpectedly. It's going great though. <laughs> Just straight up picking them up. Oh, I love Falcon Bro. He is the greatest. Pop. And pop. It was a long journey. Oh boy. Oh, I finally realize what's going on when they say that. I didn't pick this up until now. It's probably just me being completely inobservant, but it changes to like a nighttime setting on the top there. Very nice. I like it. It was a very long journey. And then the rain began. The reigns of Castamere. Yes. If only I had a baritone such as the singer of the National, I might be happy with my life. Sadly, it shall never be. Finally, Charles reached the trading post. Thank God. Cost all of Charles' money, and he managed to travel back with the replacement axle in hand. And get a whole bunch more boring encounters with wolves. Jesus Christ, Charles. Try to liven up the party a little bit, won't you? Try to give me something new, Charles! Coming here with that old shit! Trying to turn our boombox into an A-track. Great Plains, something, something, something. Now oh, we got Falcon Bro back, fantastic. Come on now. Enough with these coyotes. Are they coyotes or wolves? I don't even remember anymore. It's all just a massive blur of this. Great Plains were over 500,000 square miles. Holy shit! This trip of Charles is Char Charles's Charles's trip. That would be a terrible name for a BBC nature exploration show. Charles's trip was filmed in front of a live coyote. Finally, Charles reached the wagon. After repairing the wagon, they traveled onward. It's about goddamn time. This river was too deep to ford. We're on day 111. Holy shit. We're gonna go ahead and swim underneath it with our uh, coal-powered train wagon. Yep. Don't ask questions. Took a deep breath and jumped right in. Especially because Falcon Bro is OP underneath there. Deadly piranhas that die instantly to the massive powers of Falcon Bro. Yes, sir. We also have this weapon again, which I don't really like. I'm just going to go ahead and waste the ammunition for. Bam, bam, bam. I guess I don't have to pick them up, but when they're there, I mean, like, what else are you supposed to do? They're just calling your name. Bear Taffy, pick me. Oh, God. Angry narwhals. Okay, Falcon Bro. You got this, buddy. All the confidence in you, my friend. Screw that weapon. We're good. We got what we need, right here and now. We have a lot of stuff, holy crap. Uh-oh. Oh, this is not good. This is really bad. This is real bad. A giant squid blocked their path. Oh, holy shit. Alright, well, Falcon Bros OP for this fight anyway. There we go. Uh, Bear noticed a treasure chest in the water. He swam from the wagon to investigate. What do we have here? He felt that there had to be something super amazing inside, but he was hesitant and wasn't sure if he should open it. Oh, open it, obviously! Are you serious? He opened it up and found a pistol. Shit! They continued on swimming to the shore of the river. Really? Oh, God! That's terrible! Why would they do that? The oxen ate some funny-smelling shrubs. The oxen seemed confused. It hurt itself in its confusion. Charles became ill with spotted fever. Well, the entire run just went to shit immediately upon that treasure chest reveal, so unfortunately, we are very likely to die as a result of the game hating me. How sad it is. I don't even really need to get a whole bunch of animal hides, man. I'm, I'm in pretty good shape in that respect, but... Oh, this sucks. Upside down controls and a really shitty gun. Makes me a sad bear. Here's the pack of wolves to celebrate my inevitable failure. Charles, get better, buddy. I need ya. Oh, there we go. There's number one, and Charles died in wolf attack. Shit. Shit. Oh, God. Missile, and there it goes. A wolf chewed on bear until he died. Well, God damn it. The party's journey ended there. Oh, boy. Well, that'll do it for this episode of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Leave a like if you're enjoying the series this far. Thank you very much for the support. My name is Bear. See you next time.